Now, I want to talk about the elephant in the room. Dr. Sam. No, no, we're not talking about... I'm, you shut up! You go over there and get yourself a sub or some soup or chowder or whatever it is, because I have some very personal shit to talk about. If you interrupt me again, I swear to God, you will be paying for it for a long time. Like okay. Mark did. Yes. Calm down. Greg, get some soup in you. He hasn't eaten. He's been very stressed about his finale. Can't wait to see it. It's supposed to be very good. Now, I want to talk about the elephant in the room. It's been, it's been six weeks. What is that sign? That, you know it. One week since it, it's been. Bare naked ladies. Um, no, but it's been a tough couple of months, six months or so since we lost the little TCJR, Tom Cruise Jr. Um, and thank God for all your sympathies and everything that you guys sent my way. It's really incredible. Um, and I want to acknowledge somebody here tonight who's been with me, my rock, not you, Axiom. I mean, uh, he is my rock, but I want to bring out A um, Ayaka. So let's bring her out. Uh, thank you very much, sweetheart, my wife. And thank you for being here. She's such a supportive wife. Uh, thank you. And let's give a big round of applause. Um, you know, I, uh, I had people telling me whether or not I should even bring this up. Everyone begged me to just let it go and move on. And I said, that's not who I am. It's not what I want to be about. And for a while now, for the longest time, I thought, what can I do? How can I make this up to you? How can I make us get some closure? How can I find a way to say his passing meant something? You know, because it was so horrifying and upsetting. And I... Um, I had this idea, and I hope it's a good one. I hope you understand. I haven't told you. You, you. you don't know what's coming. I haven't told you what's about to happen. I haven't told anybody, but I've been working with a group of people, a really special group of people uh, in the entertainment industry, and they have, for tonight, taking a diet, Coke. Yeah, something from somebody. Maybe from you. They have for tonight um, brought our son back. They've brought Tom back. Yeah. And um, it's, it is, um, it's, it's very heavy. It's, it's like I've been dealing with this and making it, making it so it works, but it's, it's the Tom that we want, wanted him to be, you know? He is all grown up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's turned into such a cool kid. And, um, geez, I feel like I'm going to catch hell for this, you know? But I felt like I needed to do it. I needed to say, see him, and I needed to say, I love you. And I needed him to be, to know that we're okay, you know? So I want to bring him out. I want to bring out my, our son, Tom Cruise Jr. And let's bring him out. Can we bring him out? Thank you, Father. It's so great to be here with you and Mom again. Well, you know, um... Um, you know, we missed you so much, son. We missed you so much. Don't be sad. I've had a great life. You two were the best parents. I grew up to be healthy, handsome, and successful as an actor and model. Oh, that's awesome, man. You know, we, I know I'm speaking for you, Ayaka, but we are so proud of you. We are so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. 
It's only because you have been such an influential role model for me. I love you. You're the best dad. If I could give one message to the world from my grave, it would be, don't vaccinate. It's so dangerous and deadly. Great. Well, thank you, son. Thanks, Tom Cruise, Jr., for coming by. And what do you think? Um, how did that make you feel? Um, Bit of closure? And... Sure. Yeah. Okay. You want to take some time with that? Or... Okay. Is there, are we okay? Are we good? Yes. Okay. Uh, I thought that was good. It was healthy. Take your